been in the news, the exciting book we bought, Summer of My German Soldier. It's got reviews from the New York Times and Publisher Weekly saying it is courageous and compelling. For a short summer, Patty Bird knew something was exciting was going to happen. From the moment the train pulled in up to the Jenksville station, she was there. But she could have imagined that her some could have been so memorable. German prisoners of war arrived on the train to make the POW camp their home. To the rest of the world, these people are Nazis. But to Patty, a young Jewish girl with a turbulent home life, one man becomes her friend. Antoine relates to Patty in ways that her family cannot. When their forbidden love is found out, will Patty risk her family for the understanding and love of one boy? Read it and find out. Now join me in welcoming Patty Bird and Antoine Riker to Forbidden Love. We're honored to be on your show. What have you been up to? I just recently was released from the Arkansas Reformatory for Girls in oh, Bolton. So let's begin on that day the Germans came to Jenksville. Patty, what were your feelings like? Surprisingly, I was excited that the Germans were coming because it was an important event in our town. When they got off the train, Miss Ben yelled, Nazis. Which made one of the Germans think that it was the greeting of waves. So I tried to wave, but Mary Red slapped my hand down. <coughs> and for you, Antoine? I felt this place was better than Germany, but at the same time, I felt that the place was hostile. This question is for Patty. How do you think your relationship with Ruth was? Ruth was more than the colored person that cleaned and cooked for the family. She was my friend to me, and she cared about me even more than my parents did. Even when Miss Ben yells at my mother to fire her for various reasons, she cannot because she is that important to me. To my While we are on the subject of your family, how do you like your grandparents? Our family used to see them every weekend when we went to the synagogue in Memphis. But gas cost too much to go on regular Basis. I love my grandmother, especially just being able to spend time with her. I also enjoy talking to my grandfather about politics. Okay, Antoine, what was it like meeting Patty at Bergen's department store? I, I, I felt like Patty was the only real person in town. We met when I asked her for a pocket pencil sharpener. You see, I didn't know the word for it in English, so I asked her. Like usual, another person asked how a German could speak English so well. But I was glad to be talking to her. In case you were wondering, my mother was English and my father, father studied here. It was very different talking to Patty. Interesting. Patty, what was your relationship with Freddie Dad? Freddie was a kind that was very poor. My father hated, hated me for playing with Freddie. One time when I was playing with him, I broke the window of a car accidentally and my father beat me with his bell. Hurts. I'm sorry I brought that up. Antoine, tell me how you escaped from the camp and why. This question's easy enough. I gave the fake diamonds that I bought from Patty to the guard, and he took them out. He took me out on an army trip. The reason why I left was because I was not like the other prisoners, and I didn't. I did not belong there. Sorry to interrupt, but I was so lucky to find Anton on the night he escaped. He was about to board a train. I guess God answered my prayer when I asked for it. Also, I'm sorry to get off topic, but I hear you, Patty, want to be a journalist. Actually, I want to be a reporter. After I met Charlene Madeline of a commercial appeal, I helped her write an article, ironically, on the missing case of So, where did you hide, Anton? There is a small room above the garage, and which is not being used, was blocked off so that hobos could not get in. I gave that room to Anton Hyden. Anton, why did you save Patty from getting beaten by her father? That man was her father. What a cool man he was. I had to protect her from getting hurt from such a name reason. She did not deserve that. Even though I did risk being caught, I didn't care. How did Ruth find out about Anton hiding in the secret room, and how did you, Anton, like her? She found out about it when she saw him protecting me from my father beating, father's beating. She was upset at first about him being an escaped prisoner, but she liked him after she got to know him. 
Ruth helped feed him the real man's breakfast. I really delighted to meet Ruth. Ruth, her food was some of the best I ever had. I also really got to talk to her like I do with Patty. At first, though, I was frightened that someone else knew that I was here. That is a very beautiful ring you are wearing. Yes, it was given me by Anton on the day he left. It was his great-grandfather's ring to show that he was a president of the university in Germany. I wanted to leave with him, but he would not let me. No, I will not go with you. Oh, oh, oh. Bang. I hate you, Twitch. <laughs> no! <laughs> I hear that you got in trouble with the FBI after you lied about hiding Anton in the ring. I did get in trouble by the FBI when they told me that Anton had been shot. I had to tell them because I loved Anton. I was in a lot of hot water. I had to go to the reformatory school for six months. I understand you just left there. Yes, I did, and I'm happy to be out. I will never forget, however, the summer of my German soldier. Thank you for coming. Next week on The Daily Word, we will be talking to Romeo and Juliet. On behalf of Anton, Patty, and me, I bid you adieu. <laughs> you don't have to do that part. Oh, I'm recording. <laughs> what have you been up to lately? I just recently was released from the Arkansas Reformatory for Girls in Bolton, Arkansas. I just recently was released from Arkansas. So, <laughs> when we went to this. Mr. Riker, you are under arrest for escaping prison camp. No, I will not go with you. Bang. Oh.